Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I'm going to do a video on the Suros Foundry in the Taken King and uh, some of the stuff I know. We're going to take a look at some pictures of some guns. Can I have fun? I'm over here by the gunsmith. It is not Taken King time yet, but the new 2.0 patch does hit on September 8th, and then on September 15th, we will get all those lovely new guns that our fingertips can handle. So let's start out by looking at Suros. Here's the logo of Suros. Um, they're uh, they're uh, they're one of my favorite weapon manufacturers. I think them and Hake or Haka are going to be my my two favorite gun manufacturers, just because I like the styling and the ideas. Suros is very um, retro futuristic, whereas Hake is very in terms of destiny. Hake Haka Hake is very uh, old school, very old style. So let's take a look at the first picture. Here we have the uh, Suros Pulse Rifle. I really like the styling. I like the red and white. I like how they're doing it. It, it, it looks curved. It's kind of funny that the gun looks curved. But uh, I think it's really cool. Like I said, the styling. It looks like it's got a big piece, piece of plastic on it, but I think it works. Um, I'm really excited. They, were, they used this in the, the Rift gameplay. Uh, reveal a whole lot on the Red Bull Esports channel. And they said it was the it was the best PvP usable gun, and I'm really interested to get my hands on. It. I'm really into pulse rifles right now, so this Suros pulse rifle looks pretty cool. Um, let's go to the next picture. It's actually the same pulse rifle. I think it's a uh, an early rendering of it. So here's the actual in-game render, and then here's a kind of an artist depiction, I guess of what they were planning. See, it's not curved, but it's still pretty cool. It shows the general styling of Suros. Next, we have the Suros rocket launcher. I love that dragon on the side. Um, really, uh, it, it's the styling's you know gonna gonna run true throughout the whole foundry. It's got a cool future retro futuristic look to it. Um, I'm wondering what the perks are going to be on this launcher because it looks pretty neat. I haven't seen any gameplay with it. Very well, I've seen a little bit just in you know previews or whatever so I'm really excited to get this this is not gonna be in that uh, pre-order pack that you get the only guns that are gonna be in that are the uh, three primary weapons from Suros so this one you're gonna have to either buy or find or however you can acquire it but there's a dragon on it so get excited uh, here's another this is the artist rendering I guess of the rocket launcher I grabbed a bunch of images off of Google just to take a look at and this one's pretty cool I dig it. I'm really liking the styling. So here's the arsenal pack that you can get for pre-ordering with the emblem and the shader. Um, I have pre-ordered, so hopefully I will be getting these. We got the pulse rifle, the auto rifle, and the scout rifle. The scout rifle looks interesting. I haven't seen any gameplay really with it. Um, the auto rifle is pretty cool too. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, there's another picture of the pulse rifle, auto rifle, and scout rifle up close. I might have to crop these, but there's that. And then we have the Suros Regime, the gun that started it all. Um, this is one of my favorite guns ever until they did the auto rifle nerf. It was all I would use in the Iron Banner, all I would use in PvP. And it was just one of my favorite guns in the game. And I, I was sad about it when they uh, kind of dropped it down and it's, it wasn't very useful. Thankfully, with 2.0 patch, they're going to make it probably a lot more useful. And we all know there's a year two version of the Suros that showed on the Bungie Reveal stream a couple weeks ago. So let's take a look at that. So there's that picture. I grabbed this straight from the Reveal video. Looks like they gave it a little bit of a facelift, a little bit of a, di of a different color. And the perks are going to change. You're going to get the old perks... I think right off the bat on most of these exotics, but this one has a, a choice. You can either have it do focus fire or you can have it do spinning up, which I really like the idea of the spinning up. It's like the Thunder Lord where the, the fire rate starts out slow and then kind of gets faster and faster and faster and faster the longer the, that you hold the trigger. So that should be really cool. I like that idea. I like how they're doing it with the with the exotics in year two and having a year two version with some, some new cool perks. Um, now let's talk about the gunsmith that I'm standing in front of. In year two, you're going to be able to get the Arms Day packages. And one of the things I noticed while they were streaming it is the Arms Day packages are 
um, foundry packages. So like this Suros, you're going to get a Suros scout rifle out of that arms day package if you purchase it. So I'm interested to see, is that going to be different than the one that is available with the pre-order pack or is it going to be the same style, just new perks? What's it going to be? I don't know. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to be doing this a whole lot. I, I really like this idea of the arms day and getting those white guns and testing them out. And then we have the auto rifle. This is the last picture I grabbed. This is from the stream. They showed this auto rifle that I think uh, Tyson Green had on his person. Um, I noticed that the sights are different. I don't know what that means as far as the game goes, but it looks interesting how they have the Suro sights. So I guess the sights are all specific to each foundry. Very, very interesting. But you can also see there's a lot of there's some uh, new perks. Um, it is what is what is the word I'm searching for? The new system that that makes the weapon stronger. Infusion. It has infusion. It does not have ascension. It does not have reforgeability. So the perks you get are the perks you're gonna get on all these new year two guns. And I'm kind of I'm okay with that too. I never had enough weapon parts to just re-roll guns over and over and over again. So really excited about that I'm gonna say excited a lot excited 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 so that's the last picture I got for you guys I'm dancing in front of the uh, the gunsmith right here I am excited about your new opportunities and wares sir I want you to continue with this uh, progression and I look forward to it I will salute you all right guys I'm gonna dance it out that's everything I know about sir or all my my uh, impressions about the Suros foundry coming in the Taken King I'm gonna do Amalan and Hake or Haka soon so keep a lookout for those the other foundries I don't know that I, I might do a video just on other foundries but I don't have a, a whole lot of information on those I haven't been keeping up to date on the other foundries I, I kind of know the three big ones so I might take a look at those in the next week or so but anyway guys let me know what you think which foundry are you excited for um, does Soros look cool or you think it looks stupid I'm really excited about Haka so that'll be the next video so hope you guys are excited with me but anyway let me know what you think and thank you so much for the views. I always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Death Rebuff. I will see you later. See you back.